Hello Australia and hello world, this is Jamie the Crypto Koala. Today I'm going to bring you some news on Russia and how Russia could be the next big user of Bitcoin and how its regulations are definitely going to help Bitcoin. Industries that are nailing blockchain technology at the moment. We're going to look at Harry Redknapp, a football manager that is promoting Electronium. We're going to talk about Stellar and how IBM is, um, is going to use Stellar in the future. And we're going to look, look at Stellar in the markets. Also, I'm going to have a look at No Limit Coin. We're going to do a little review of No Limit Coin and what it's all about. And we're going to talk about our NEO competition. So guys, let's start off with today's news. Now, Russia. So smart regulations could make Russia the next major Bitcoin market. So it's only the other day where Russia was saying, oh, cryptocurrency was was a bad thing and Bitcoin Bitcoin was something that they didn't want to be interested in. But now they said that they're going to bring out their own cryptocurrency, which is the crypto ruple. And it said that um, even Putin here, so in a statement released by the Kremlin, Putin explained that similar to other countries such as the US, Japan and South Korea, Russia needs a regulatory framework to oversee cryptocurrency trading and activities. However, he has no interest in banning digital currencies. Putin, Putin stated this. As I know, many countries are looking for ways by regulating the circulation of cryptocurrencies and are beginning to create the necessary legislative framework and legislative, uh, legislative regulatory system. We need a based on an international experience to build a regulatory environment that will make it possible to codify re relations in this sphere. So basically they're going to bring out uh, regulations so they're actively looking at supporting cryptocurrencies in Russia. They, they can see it as a long-term viable thing. Um, so this is really good news for cryptocurrencies. So they're bringing out their own um, cryptocurrency, the crypto ruple, and they're possibly looking at and bringing out their own um, legal framework. Now, having Russia investing in Bitcoin is a huge uh, win, and I think that this influx would be a really good win for Bitcoin and all cryptocurrencies. So I'm just going to now move on to the um, to the next bit of news, which is industries that are now in blockchain already. Now, some of the major companies that are getting into um, blockchain technology which is the big giants, which is IBM, which I'm going to talk about in a minute, Minute as they're using Stellar, uh, Microsoft, Goldman Sachs, and MISC, I think it says MISC, uh, are developing blockchain solutions with it, within their vertical. So this is pretty good news as well. So as, it's, as time's going on, more and more big um, retailers and companies are starting to adopt and use blockchain technology. So this is really good. It's just slowly but surely gaining more and more momentum. Um, we're now going to look at Harry Redknapp. Now, where I come from um, in the south of England, I come from a place called Portsmouth, and Harry Redknapp used to be the football manager of, um, of Portsmouth. Now, this guy here, he's very well known in the UK, um, and he's joined like some other stars, like Floyd Waver, he's promoting his coin, and he's promoting uh, Centro. I don't know if that's his coin, but yeah, he's promoting Centro and all the other celebrities that they're endorsing their own their own favourite cryptocurrencies. Now, Harry Redknapp has basically come out and said that he he really likes uh, Electronium and he's getting involved with it. So I, on my last video, I was saying that, well, I've done a little um, review of uh, Electronium and just saying what it's all about. Um, so yeah, that's... that's, that's Really good that Harry Redknapp is um, looking at getting into that, and he's most probably giving them a, a, a big endorsement and a, and a good a good um, leg up. So now I'm going to talk about uh, IBM. Now, <laughs> earlier on in the week, IBM come out and said about they are going to um, partner up with Stella and use Stella for their future um, for their future systems. Now this is really big news for Stella as as I looked into the market the other day and it just shot up so just this news alone knowing that um, IBM is going to be involved with Stellar has massively gave it a, a, a big lift so this is something to watch out guys because I, I'd imagine that this might still go up a little bit over the next couple of weeks um, so that's, um, that's IBM and Stellar 
So let's go and have a look at <coughs> No Limit Coin. Now, No Limit Coin is a fantasy um, sports coin. And as they're going on at the market at the moment, they are at a market cap at the moment of about 36, 36 million. Um, which which is actually yeah we're taking a lot of a lot of money in it at the moment and um, it's got a circulating supply of just above and um, 200 200 million now the trading volume is about 58 so that's still pretty low but it still was really um, a, a cheap coin to get into and I reckon it would have huge potential in the future um, just to connect the exchanges that it's trading on at the moment and it's not really trading on a lot of exchanges and Yobit which is the number one chat exchange that is trading on at the moment is only is only seventy-one uh, percent, forty-one grand. So, yeah, it could do with being a lot more exchanges. Um, but let's just have a look at no, no limit coin over the last um, over time. So yeah, it jumped up there, but I know in the future it's um, it's recently going to announce a new um, UI and they're given given the coin a facelift so um, we're going to look at that we're going to look at that in a minute so this is no limit coins uh, website so it's basically a um, a cryptocurrency that's being used within the fantasy game industry now this is quite big in america and it's something that i see i see potentially is going to grow so <coughs> We'll just look at some of the features of No Limit Coin. Now, it's um, powers online game of fantasy uh, and fantasy games using blockchain technology. Now, blockchain and blockchain. No Limit Coin has gone through its ICO and is available on the exchanges that I've just mentioned. So, it is available to be traded um, to be traded with the um, No Limit Coin. Now there is a proof of stake of this one, so if you've got a good amount of uh, no limit coin, you can get into the, the proof of stake with them. Just by the way, if you want to have a look at this for yourself, guys, the links will be below to, to all the news that I've said and to this uh, into this coin. You see, see what other things we can look at. So yeah, let's have a look at their roadmap. Um, I've just seen trying to find this UI. See, they've mentioned it on that their roadmap there. This is it, um, and NLC two. This would be their new, um, the new thing that they've been talking about the last few days and the last few weeks. So it allows it to um, be working on large exchanges to get NLC two listed on exchanges with large volumes. So if this program here, this is most probably why they haven't been able to get on the bigger exchanges. So once they hit these bigger exchanges. Could potentially skyrocket and the trading volume will, will, will massively increase potentially and um, and if it starts in exchanges in places like korea you could really see um, a, a good amount of money going into it now or cryptocurrency going into it now and um, there was a thing i, I come across uh, looking through the um, announcements and I noticed that they're going into China. Now this is something which they've got set up and they actually are trying to tap into the Chinese market so that they've got that the version going into China. So you can imagine that um, China investing or getting, getting into No Limit Coin which would be a huge boost to No Limit Coin. So also we're going to look with No Limit Coin um, yeah, this is it. Another little article put to one side here. When will NLC2 be on the large exchanges like Bittrex? We are also looking to work with large exchanges to get NLC2 listed on exchanges with larger volume. So, yeah, this could be a good one to um, to research, guys, and to look into because this could be worth putting a bit of money into it. And um, because this could potentially, you know, go up if it starts getting into all these exchanges. I foresee that there is a market for this, and it's it's a bit of a niche, a, a bit of a niche market as well. And so yeah, just check that out, guys, and, and see what you think. And um, I think it's a pretty good idea. And um, I can't wait to see it coming onto an exchange. Exchange. 
So, you know, I'll be watching the Australian extra uh, ex uh, Okay, start again. Australian exchanges. So, um, if I see it come on coin spot, I think I'm going to buy some. Um, I think I'm going to get some of this coin. So, we're just going to now, after we've talked about all the news here, yeah, we've all had a good chat about the news, we're going to now talk about the Neo competition. Now, I've got a competition going at the moment, and I mentioned in my last video. Guys, get into this Neo competition. All you've got to do is like my video and put it on the comments below. Um, it's simple as that. Put in your Ethereum address. You can put anything in the comments. And if you're the only one to comment, and if you're the only one, the comments puts your address down and gets um, a prediction for Neo on the 31st of October, which is Halloween, um, at 9 o'clock UTC time. If you get close to that time, I'm going to send you one Neo. Now, if you're the only one to comment, you're going to win. If you put some out wild, like Neo will reach 100, um, 100 US, and then it comes through, and well, I'm going to do a video after the 31st, and I'm going to put your address into um, the Neo, and I'm going to send you one Neo coin. So it's simple as that, guys. Um, so that's basically my my Neo um, my Neo competition. Um, yeah, so guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and um, please subscribe and like my video if you if you uh, enjoyed it. And um, enjoy your day, guys, and I'll see you soon.